Okay, if you're back, love box. You can see we got the gloves in here. We got two chambers. We have uh, three circulating blower uh, circulators here. You can see one up here, one here. They're plugged in here. They blow through the purifier media, which has been replaced on all three of them, and then through this filter and then back out. While we're here, I'll just show you we do have a 110 outlet. And the same over here, we have a. Uh, a blower circulates through the uh, filter material, uh, purifier media, and then out through this filter. It's plugged in up there. As you can see right now, we're at uh, less than one. We're monitoring oxygen here, so we're, we're less than one parts per million. I'll introduce a little oxygen later, and we'll see that the purifiers are taking it out. And while we're here, we'll talk about the uh, controller here. You set your, uh, you got plus and minus here. So for positive pressure, you can set, set your range here. And as you can see, it'll add a little nitrogen into it. And then you can also go negative and bring it below zero inches of water. And you see the vacuum pump is now pulling through. The gloves are getting pulled in. Now we'll just talk about the vacuum system here. This is our house vacuum. Uh, you'll have to uh, attach your own vacuum here. That's a KF25 port right here. So it tees off. This side goes into the uh, controller here and back into the box. This one here is used on the regeneration. So when you're doing a regen, you want to open this orange valve here. That's the open position. And that's only needs to be open during the regen of one of the purifiers in the back. And you can see this leads out to a manifold there, a vacuum manifold. I'll, I'll explain that when we go in the back later. So now you can see we're at a, a, a negative pressure here. Okay, here's our antechamber to open that. So just pop this valve uh, lever here, lift up. And you can see we have a sliding shelf in there. So what you do is you introduce your work into here, slide the shelf back in, close the door, seal the door. And what, what you want to do is three cycles. It's recommended you do three vacuum or purge cycles. So in order to do that, you'll open your vacuum valve here. We have a gauge here indicating the uh, vacuum pressure inside the uh, antechamber. Like I said, normally you'll do three cycles. You'll let it evacuate down to uh, almost 30 here. And then we'll backfill using this valve here, and this is going to bring the nitrogen that's inside the box into the antechamber. We'll do one cycle here, and we'll come back later after I've completed three. And then what I'll do is it's best to keep the gloves at a pet, uh, the box at a positive pressure, so I'm somewhere around uh, a little over almost one. I'll add a little more gas in there because it is going to take the gas out of the uh, glove box into the antechamber. And then we can open this valve here to back fill it. And I'm just trying to maintain the pressure in the glove box here. So what I like to do is hit the right put switch down here just to add gas into the glove box to compensate for the loss. So we're looking at the uh, vacuum gauge coming back up towards zero. I'll close that off and we'll do another evacuation. Like I said, generally you do three evacuate and uh, backfill before you open the inner door. All right, I did my third evacuation here, and I'll, I'll back to the antechamber.
All right, so we're waiting for a zero. Now the pressure should be equalized inside the box in the uh, antechamber. I'll close this valve here so it's best to close that. And using the glove, you can come in here, open the door, similar to the outer door. And you can slide the work down in, inside here and unload the work inside your glove box. And if you take a look at the oxygen monitor, it stayed at zero. All right, here's the, uh, the back of our, our control box, the model PC1 here. The voltage is 110. So right here I have our uh, nitrogen cylinder coming in here. That's our inert, inert gas. This is your pressure control, so it's reading what the pressure is inside the box. We have our, uh, oh, that's a, this is the pressure sensing reads the pressure inside the box. It'll go to the uh, magnet helix, the photo helix in front. And the control is here. There's two valves, either a vacuum valve or an inert gas valve that'll open to maintain the pressure of your photo helix. And that's done through this line here. And then our vacuum is from the manifold in the front, just teed off to here. The other vacuum manifold is used for regeneration. So as you can see, it comes into these valves here. We'll, we'll just look at the first one. So we have a vacuum uh, manifold here. Well, for the first two here. These are your vacuum valves used during regeneration. On the other side are your uh, uh, exhaust valves. So as you're doing your regen and you're flowing your gas through there, you'll want to exhaust out into an exhaust through the ports here. And then what you have here is uh, ball valves that will isolate your purifier. So when you're doing a regeneration, you'll want to close these valves, the top one and the bottom one. So all these purifiers are identical. They all have the same controllers here. As you can see, I have the off switch, the switch here to circulate. So that turns on the blower inside. So with the blower on and your two valves open, you're, you're circulating through your purifier. You want to do a regeneration, what you do is Turn this off, close your ball valve. Uh, get this other one is kind of tucked away in here. Uh, if your two ball valves close, you'll bring your dial over to start. And at that point, you'll switch it over to regenerate. And you'll see the light turns on. Now, this timer will move all the way around. It'll heat for three hours. It'll purge with your forming gas for one hour then it'll stay in vacuum until you decide to take it out. They normally recommend that you run the vacuum for 12 hours. So the entire regen process is roughly 15 hours, no, 16 hours. So right now I'll just shut this off. I'll turn this back to the vacuum setting. Open the valve and we'll go back to circulate. Okay, here's your uh, third uh, purifier. And again, it's identical. You have your vacuum manifold coming up to your vac valve, which is on the inside in this case. You have your vent valve here. You'll hook up a line to your exhaust. And over here, you have a regulator, and you'll hook up your uh, forming gas to this, this uh, line right here. And you regulate it down to about 5 psi, and you want to flow about using nitrogen uh, with 5% hydrogen. You're going to need flow at uh, 20 cubic feet per hour, which would be 20 on your flow meter here, and that can be adjusted this way. And again, you're only putting in about 5 PSI. And here's your heater, your power to your heater. So there's a heater embedded in here. So during a regen, you'll heat, purge, and then evacuate. All right, up here you have a, uh, it's just a purge valve. If you want to manually purge your glove box, if I were to open that up, you can hear it's trying to maintain the pressure inside the box. And you can do a quick purge using this valve. It's a manual valve that's on here. Oh, down here you can see we have our uh, oxygen sensor, which is the Embron MVOXSE1. 
so that's just inside the box. Uh, this is our house um, oxygen sensor. We just use that here to qualify the glove box. What I'll do is I'll pull this out prior to shipping and I'll, I'll blank this off. And that's a KF40 uh, blank off. And then finally you got your two, uh, you got cords down here to bring power to your inside uh, electrical boxes. There's one here and one on the other side. You just need to be plugged into an outlet. And again, you have uh, power is necessary for your uh, dry train here. Again, that's 110 and that's, as you can see, it's plugged into an outlet here. So you'll need three outlets for your uh, purifiers, two more 110 plugs for your uh, internal electrical, and up top here we have our lights are plugged in. And I also have the uh, the 110 for the uh, control, the pressure controller, and then our oxygen sensor.